In this video that's used the law of signs to solve an AAS triangle. So we've got a triangle. I am not going to try to draw this to scale. And we'll give you two angles. Fifty degrees and thirty degrees, and we'll give you one of the sides and and now let's solve this triangle. And remember that solving a triangle means finding all of the sides and all of the angles. Um, we don't need any fancy trigonometry to solve that angle, though. To solve the angle, all we need to know is that there are 180 degrees in a triangle. So this angle is practically free. It's a hundred degrees. And that leaves us needing to solve for the remaining two sides. Let's find this side. And again, we're going to use the law of signs here. And what you'll realize as you look at the situations where the law of signs is useful. So this situation and this situation and this situation, all of these have something in common. In all of the situations where the law of signs is useful, you have an angle you know and a side you know, and they're opposite one another. So in the ASA case, in the AAS case, and in the SSA case. Why and here, I mean, you see in that 50 degrees and that 10. So why is this useful to us? Now, scroll all the way back to the law of signs. The law of signs relates angles to opposite sides. You see alpha is opposite A, beta is opposite B, gamma is opposite C. <laughs> that that uh, now looks completely uh, inscrutable. Let me clean it up. So how you can use the law of signs is you can say, well, the sine of 50 degrees divided by 10 equals the sine of 30 degrees divided by this unknown angle. Yeah. 
And this then is a formula that we can solve. Um, the sine of 50 degrees over 10 is a number. You can plug it into your calculator. Uh, your calculator is probably currently in radians mode, so make sure to convert to degrees first. Oh, thank you. Zero point zero seven six six is the sine of thirty degrees over this unknown angle. And now we're doing a little um algebra. Multiply both sides by this unknown angle. Using a zero point zero seven six six using a question mark is a little awkward, but I'll finish this out. Equals the sine of thirty. So this unknown is the sine of 30 divided by 0 0.0766. And again, we go to our calculator. 6.5. So, this angle, or rather this side that we were looking for, we have found 6.527. Well, we're halfway done, and we... At this point, probably can, or I hope we can see what to do. We're just going to repeat this process. Um, let me, using that question mark is a little awkward. Let me call this side something. Let me call it C. The sine of a hundred degrees over C equals the sine of fifty degrees over ten. And now, I mean, I guess you, um, last, um, last time I, I plugged this into the calculator right away. I mean, I guess the alternative is you could solve for C and then plug everything into the calculator at the very end. Um, that that might reduce rounding error, but for our purposes, it's probably fine to just plug this into our calculator and round to three or four decimal places. I we actually found this exact fraction a little earlier. Uh, but anyway, now multiply by C. Equals 
suppose the sine of a hundred degrees divide by that decimal Plug this into the calculator. This, uh, this computer I'm working on doesn't have, um, our emulation software is the only reason I'm not showing that step. 12.856. And we have solved the triangle, all of the sides, all of the angles, using the law of sides.